Don Hardy of Pioneer Motors. Uh, many of you uh, know Don from, from there. He's with us to tell us a little bit about the Hardy family. Um, of course, I live in Agassiz, and I've worked at Pioneer Motors for close to 39 years. And my great-grandparents and their children arrived in 1913 from Richmond, and they lived at Hardy and Golf Road. I don't know anything about my great-grandparents, but Ted Westland once told me he was at their house with his dad when he was a young guy. He told me they had a small farm with many fruit trees around the property. They also had a, a pelting wheel that took uh, water that flowed off of the mountain and generated their own electricity. My grandfather, Gordon Hardy, went to grade school in the Agassiz Harrison area. And then when he was old enough, he went into town and worked for a guy called Jack Scrine at a repair garage called Pioneer Motors. It was located next door to the current Pioneer Motors where the, that Indian restaurant and the laundromat is located. In 1938, he purchased this business from Jack. And I must mention uh, my Nana. He married uh, my Nana, Regina Vandale, in 1937. She lived with her mother and siblings on Els Road. Together they ran this business, and in 1942, uh, my grandpa was the victim of the polio epidemic. So he spent a year in the Vancouver hospital. And since the time that I knew him, he always walked with two canes. So he, eventually he returned to work and ran it as usual, I get, I'm assuming. They purchased an empty lot beside the shop on Pioneer Avenue where the current Pioneer Motors is, and he built the shop. It opened in 1948. And in that building, the main shop, the rafters in that building are from an airport hangar that partially burnt down in Richmond. Uh, they're massive beams, and it must have been quite a, quite a chore moving them to Agassiz over that Mount Woodside Road mm. as the bridge wasn't built yet. When people that know things about building and wood, they sort of poke their head in the door, they're looking around, they say, wow, that's, those are quite the beams. And my dad was born in uh, 1938 and spent his, work, his working life at Pioneer Motors. I presume the shop grew with the rest of the downtown business community during these times. Uh, my grandpa retired in 1980 and my dad ran it solo. Then came August of 1981, uh, the year I graduated high school. My dad encountered some serious heart trouble and spent quite a while in hospital and it took him a long time to return to a work. This, this event set the course for the rest of my working life, I must admit. And uh, when that happened, my mom said to me, I think you'd better go to the shop and help those people working there. So I thought about it for a bit. So I grabbed his keys, I put on his boots and drove his truck downtown. Being 18 years old, I understandably didn't know anything about running a shop with eight or so employees. But with the help of some old guys that worked there like Chip Parberry and Lloyd Johnson in the shop and Daisy McRae in the office, these older people coached me and told me how things worked. Another longtime employee there was Alan Pryor and he was key to this whole thing too. Uh, he worked for my grandpa too so he'd, he'd been there a while. I'd have known Alan since I was a young boy and he's always been a family friend to us. And I consider him to this day to be just like a brother to me. When I think of this time, I got to mention two guys that I remember very well and have deep respect for. And they're Gunther Switchenberg and Siegfried Bartel. They both came to me, the 18-year-old kid in the fall of 81, and said to me, if there's anything we can do to help you at this troubling time, let us know and we'll gladly help you. These guys were customers of my grandpa, and I knew them both quite well from town. It meant a lot to me, and I know they cared for my well-being. You know, very sincere. To this day, I remember them both easily. Um, these two men helped this town in many ways. Siegfried was on the school board, and Gunther was mayor and council for several years. Gunther's son Holger was a councillor a few years ago, and currently... His daughter, Kirsten, is on the District of Kent Council. 
It took a long time for my dad to return to work at Pioneer Motors. I then had the pleasure of working beside him and with him for the next 20 or so years. I learned a lot and we worked very well together. I thoroughly enjoyed this time. 